In this video, we're going to be exploring binary shifts. So with a binary shift, all we're going to do is shift all the bits over to the left or to the right. So let's consider the binary number 22 shown here. We're going to left shift it by one bit. And then what happens is the bit in the 128 column is going to disappear off the left hand side. The bit that's in the 64 column is going to move over left shifted one position so that it becomes a zero. The bit in the 32 position is going to shift one place to the left. The bit in the 16 position shifts to the left. The bit in the 8 position shifts one space to the left. The same with the 4 position, the 2 position and the 1 position. We end up with an empty slot on the far right, which we can simply pad with a zero. So if we left shift the number 22 one place, what we get back is 32 plus 8, which is 40, plus 4, which is 44. So 22 has become 44. In effect, we've multiplied the number by 2. Now, you don't just have to shift by one bit. You could shift by two bits or more. The principle is the same. The bits are going to disappear off the left hand side. They're going to get padded on the right hand side and any in the middle are going to be shifted over that number of places. A binary right shift is exactly the same, just in the other direction. So we start by shifting each digit right the number of places we need. So we're going to do a right shift of one. So the naught from the 128 column ends up in the 64 column. The naught in the 64 column ends up right shifted one place in the 32 and so on and so forth. The final naught in the one column disappears off the right hand side. And we pad the leading space under the 128 column with a zero. In effect, we have half the number. We have divided it by two when we shift to the right by one bit. Just like the shift to the left, we don't have to shift to the right by just one bit at a time. As we can see, binary left and right shift can be used to multiply and divide binary numbers.